Hey everyone, it's Caitlin Cahill, The Geek You Need, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this uh, trendy circle design with a line of text in the middle and two semicircles above and below with curved text in Canva. I also will have a pre-made template linked in the description if you want uh, these vector elements uh, pre-made for you. So just a note on this design, if you have a Canva free account, you will not be able to do the transparent background at the end, but you will be able to design this on any colored background you'd like and certainly change the colors as you need to. If you have a Canva Pro account, I will show you how to create this design and then remove the background and download as a transparent file um, so you can reuse it on any image that you'd like. So let's dive in and get started. So to begin with from the Canva homepage, as always, we're going to go to the Create a Design button in the upper right and select the size that we like. I find that the square ratio works best for this type of logo. Now there's a couple ways to add your circles. Uh, if you go to the elements here and you search, so I found that half circle line uh, will show this. So if you're a pro user, there is an element with the double circles already. Uh, the downside is you can't change the spacing between the circles. And so if your font that you choose is too tall or too skinny that it looks weird, um, that one may not work for you. Now, if you're using the free account and you go and filter by free, there is a single line that is available for a half circle. But the problem with using this for a double circle is that you can't change the width of the line. So for example, if this is the inner line and I duplicate it for the outer line, you can see the thickness of the line changes with the size of the circle and it looks uneven. So even though the, these elements, both the free and the pro are available, I actually don't recommend using the line elements. So instead, I'm gonna show you how to do it using circles. So to begin with, we're gonna go again back to our elements and we're just gonna use the basic circle shape. It's a free element, uh, so it doesn't matter which account you have. I'm gonna make my outer circle first. Now you want to make uh, the inside of the circle transparent or the same color as your background, either will work. And then you're gonna set a border by clicking this three line icon at the top. You're gonna select the border type, I want the solid. And then you can change how thick the line is by increasing the border weight. So now that I have my first circle, I'm going to copy this. I like using the shortcut, which on a Mac is Command D to duplicate, and on a PC it's Control D. You can also right click on the element and do duplicate there. I'm gonna take that copy and line it back up in the center. And now I'm gonna click and drag my corners while holding down the Option key. Now what that will do is it'll change the size of the circle from the center instead of from the corner. And I can shrink my inner circle to be uh, roughly the size of what I'm looking for. And now it's time to add our text. So first I'm gonna add that centerline text so I know what size my upper and lower text will be. So I can add one of my pre-made brand fonts or I can just add a text box from here. Make that nice and big. Set your font and color to what you want it to be. And then once it's the size you would like, then position it to the center. So you can see when I click and drag it towards the center, it snaps into place and gives me these crosshair is the center and the vertical and the horizontal line to indicate that it is centered. Now you can see I have 
the lines going behind the text, which is not what we want. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add a rectangle behind the center text that is the same color as the background. So I'm going to click on the square to add a square. And I can adjust the size to be give me as much space as I want around the text. And then from the toolbar, I'm going to change the color to be the same color as the background. Now, if I set it to nothing, it'll still show those circles through. So I need to set it to the same color as the background. So now that I have my half circles and my center text, I need to add my curved text above and below. So I'm going to go back over to my sidebar and go to the text tab and add a new text box. I'm going to center it roughly in the middle of the circle. And then from the toolbar, go to Effects and Curve. Now you can see the default 100 is a little too much for the circles that I have. So I'm going to click and adjust my circle until it lines up with the inner and outer circle there. And I think that these effects often look better all capitalized. So I clicked this button up here on the toolbar for uppercase. And then I want it to be a little bit bigger. But you can see as I change the font size, the curve changes slightly. So if you, as you change your font size or type, you want to go back to your curve over here on the left and adjust the curve as necessary. And then you can center that within the circle. Now I often find you can see when you curve text, the spacing between it is often too close. And so you'll probably want to go up here to this icon with the three lines and the arrows for spacing. And you'll probably want to increase uh, the spacing between your letters quite a bit. Um, now that's probably a little too much. Now admittedly, it's the kerning on Canva is not always the best depending on the font you choose. So you can see like there's too much spacing between these letters compared to these letters. Um, if you're concerned about kerning, you probably won't be using Canva, but if you can also manually adjust the spacing. So for example, if I want the U to have a little less spacing, I can do that as well. So I can adjust the spacing for each individual letter if I need to. Now that I have upper text, I'm going to just make a copy of that. So I have the same font and size. So again, just command D. Now when you have curved text, if you double click, it'll put it straight so that you can edit it. And now if I go back to the effects, I can adjust the curve. So now it's 74 on the top. So I actually just want to make it add a negative sign ahead of it to make it the exact opposite on the bottom so that the curve matches. So I'm going to center my text again. So now my logo is all set and ready to use. So now from the share, when you download the image, now, if you have a pro account, you have the option of downloading as a transparent background. Uh, but the problem with this is that, remember, we have that white square there um, that's blocking out the circles. And so if you download with a transparent background, it's actually just going to show um, the background will be transparent around the circles, but the box will be white. And so we actually instead want to download it as a well, you can download it as a JPEG or a PNG, but you don't want the transparent background. So I'm going to download as a PNG. 
And if you don't have Canva Pro, you can't do a transparent background anyway, so you're all set and ready to go. But if you do have Canva Pro, you can download it with the background and then we'll use the background remover tool to take out the white. So now that I've downloaded the PNG file with the white background, I'm going to upload it here on this tab back into Canva. So now you can see when I add the downloaded PNG back into Canva or any other program, it's going to have that white background. So if you need a transparent background, what you can do is select that image, go to edit photo, and then under tools, use BG remover. And voila, you have a transparent background. When you go to share, and download, you can now download it with a transparent background um, instead of the colored background, and you can put it on any background color that you would like. Now, if you don't wanna go through and create this yourself, I do have a template that I will link to in the video description that has vector elements of these half circles that you can use with any size center text. Um, and that makes it so that you don't have to do that last step of using the background removal tool. So you can see the, the center text, you can tell the little background was removed. There's a little bit of aliasing on there. So if you don't wanna to have to do that step, I do, I will link to the template that has these vector elements pre-made for you in different sizes. Hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments what else you want to learn.